Hello there, Adam Bazaljet here from Scratch Golf Academy. I'm at the beautiful club at Mediterra, Naples, Florida. Today's subject, how high to tee a golf ball on par threes. Are you doing it wrong? We'll look at this subject. We'll look at how to customize it perhaps for different clubs and skill levels. Give you some no-nonsense easy principles. Always appreciate it if you'd subscribe to this YouTube channel. And at the App Store, the Scratch Golf Academy app has all sorts of training tools. It's free for now. Hope you'll consider picking that up. Well, the old story goes that Ben Hogan was playing a practice round with a young professional. Got on a short par three, the young pro just throws the ball on the tee, just throws it on the ground and hits it. And Hogan says to him, I used to do that. In other words, that's a dumb thing to do. I've gotten smarter since I did that. Anytime you have an opportunity to use a tee and create the lie you want, a perfect lie, take advantage of it. Now, critical principle in striking a golf ball, you have to apply pressure to the ball. If you want to hit it a long way, you do. That requires that the shaft is in line with the lead arm at an angle to the trail arm. You could picture baseball or whatnot. That's how they do that. Let's start, before we get into tee heights precisely, at having a close-up look at how different lofted clubs might have different requirements. Five iron here, nine iron here, sweet spot highlighted with the black dots. With a five iron, I can get that against the golf ball pretty easily without excessive shaft lean. With a much more lofted club, you need more forward shaft lean for pure contact. Tiger Woods there hitting an iron on a par three and a driver. Just wanted to demonstrate something with less loft. And the principle's this. In each case, the shaft is in line with the lead arm. There is angle, in other words, between trail arm and club, as we said a little earlier. That helps you apply pressure to the ball. But because of the difference in loft, there's a difference in the forward tilt of the shaft at impact. Certainly some of that's accounted for, if not most, by ball position and setup. But the principle is you can still compress the ball with different levels of shaft lean for different clubs. Fairway wood, nine iron. I've teed this literally at the top of the blades of grass. That is so that I can make my normal impact, compress the ball, drive it out there with good distance. If I teed it as high as I might suggest, say with a fairway wood, and made my normal impact, contact would be way too high on the face. Wouldn't get any distance that way, so effectively I'd have to change my impact. Now, if I had a fairway wood, again, I don't need the forward lean. I can tee it up a little bit more, maybe just fingers under the golf ball and I can play it forward in my stance and while still compressing the ball I can get good height and get the ball up into the air where it will land softer. So a little exercise coming up then let's chat very briefly about customizing it to not only the club but your game. After all it's you that's got to play better you're not working on someone else's game. So let's try a shot here. We'll take that one for sure. Okay, first off, a little drill I think would be helpful. Take your trail hand and just aim it palm down a little bit and just brush along what would be the ground if the ground was sitting up here. It couldn't be any easier. That's all you have to do to hit a golf ball. At least you can do it on a small scale. It's a good mental picture. Now, if you have to hit a five wood, make your hand rise a little bit. If it's a pitching wedge, down slightly more. Subtleties, the difference between angle of attack on a tour pro between a three wood and a nine iron is only three, four degrees. The human mind is capable of this. Just play around till you get the feel you like. You have to have some feel in your game. Now, it's specifically to you. We've talked about teeing it at, say, just the height of the grass on a shorter iron. But what if you're, maybe you're an older golfer, you don't have much shaft lean, you pick it a little bit cleaner, go ahead and tee it a little bit higher. These are principles, but you have to customize these to suit yourself. You don't have my swing. I don't, unfortunately, have Rory McIlroy's swing. We've got to work with what we have. We can improve our swings. I like this drill, but ultimately take these experiment, find out what works best for you. Hope this is helpful. Music